Hey guys, Nick here. So in this video, we're gonna go over adding your Synology to a Windows domain. So uh, the point of this is to essentially have all of your users be able to access the Synology without, without having to create each user in the Synology, without having to go through all the permissions and so on. You can do all of that from your Windows server. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and click Control Panel. You then wanna Make sure you're in advanced mode, which you can click here on the top right. Then go to domain and LDAP. So here you'll see all the domain information. And on my left here, I have a virtual machine here with the um, with my Windows server. So um, we'll get back to that in a minute. So we'll just kind of put that off to the side. So let's go ahead and join our domain. So my domain name is just tcd.local. It's whatever you guys have had created it. The DNS server is what my um, server is. My server is also a DNS server, which allows people to connect to that and recognize it as a domain. So it is the IP address. You leave the domain server type, you can leave that empty. And then from here, we can go ahead and click Domain Options. We'll just take a look at these options here so you can um, have it be um, synchronized with the NTP server, which is the time, um, and enable integrated Windows authentication. That's fine, you can just click Apply for there. It's a trusted domain. And what we're gonna do here is click Apply. It's now gonna ask you for the administrator password. We're gonna go ahead and type in our administrator password for the Windows server. I'm gonna click next. Network service will restart. We'll click okay. And now let's give that a quick minute. All right, so as you can see here, it's gonna go through and it's gonna check the status of all these items for the connection between the domain. So this will take about a minute or so. Okay, so they're all green. We're gonna go ahead and click finish. And there we go. So it was able to pick up the server type as an AD domain. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and click on domain users. So underneath here, you can see uh, the couple of users that I've added. So on the left, here's my server. So I have Joe Jeffrey, I have Phil Phillips, and here are both of them as well. So these are just um, <clears throat> essentially Windows created accounts. So essentially you could use these as well to log in if you wanted to. There's also the domain groups right here. All right, so let's go ahead and, um, well, we wanna give Phil Phillips some access to some things. So we'll double click on his name. We'll go to permissions. And so you can select the folders or items that you want to share with Phil. So you can give him read, read, write, um, no access. You can give him a quota if you wanted to. Oops, uh, quota if you wanted to. Applications. You can give him access to DSM so he can log into the um, Synology portal himself. You can give him the note station, whatever you need uh, right from here. All right, so let's go ahead and add a user into the um, server here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on new user. Let's uh, create a first name. Let's do, um, let's see, so we got Joe Jeffrey, we got Phil Phillips. Let's do um, Bob Belcher. All right, so we'll just make his username be Belcher. We'll click next. Let's just make him a quick password. And then click next and finish. So now Bob's added, and let's add a security group. So new, we're going to do group, and this group name is going to be um, Synology Read Only. And we'll click OK. So once these are added, you wanna come into the Synology and click Update Domain. And once you do that, it's gonna take about a minute, maybe less than that, to grab all the information from the server and then pull it into the Synology for use. So it is also very good at authenticating with the server. So let's say you do change a password for a user 
it will automatically check with the server to make sure that that password is changed when the person tries to log in. So as you can see, we got Bob Belcher right there. Our domain group, we have, <clears throat> sorry, we have, uh, let's see, Synology read only, and it's right there. So we went ahead and added a Synology to a Windows domain and it went ahead and pulled the user list and the security group list. And this is really great for a medium sized business. Let's say there's a Synology there with, um, let's say the DSM drive app or uh, folders. This is the easiest way for us to give access to our current users. So I uh, hope you guys found this uh, video informative. Um, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let us know in the comments and uh, hope you guys have a good day.